Onward, Onward bound. bound. All right, welcome to Kendrick Park. This is the Watchable Wildlife Trail. There's the bathroom. Are you ready, Moo Moo? You found the trail? Oh, it's cold as crap today. Come on, Moo Moo. Good girl. Oh. Wow, that is a beautiful open field. There's Miss Moo Moo. Alright, there's Kendrick Mountain. And up there's the Kendrick Peak. So about 20 miles away from Flagstaff. It is cold here. <laughs> The Kendrick Park grassland provided habitat for large animals such as elk, proghorn, and deer, and for smaller animals like coyotes, rodents, and seed-eating birds. Before the Anglo-Americans settled in the mid-19th century, lightning caused fires regularly sweeping through this area, killing pine seedlings and renewing the grass, grazing by domestic animals and century of fire suppression have allowed ponderosa pine to invade this previously open area. The 1969 horseshoe fire charred hills in the background, burning more than 8,650 acres before being brought under control. Looks like someone was starting a log cabin and didn't finish because there's four pieces of wood laid out like a cabin, but that's weird. Yeah, look at the joints too. So, little wash pail. Are you okay? What's wrong? Okay. What's wrong? Are you okay? Huh? Did you hit your nose on something? You are all sneezy. Uncontrollable sneezes. <laughs> you okay? You'll be okay. Alright. <laughs> yes, I'll hold your hand. Poor girl. Feel better? I'm gonna need you to be better. I look away for five seconds and you go on a sneezing fit. It's laid out square. And the joints are done like a log house. So, or a log cabin. All right, Moo time to move on. You ready? <laughs> She's like, yep, let's go. So here's the information about it. It was a log corral, and it was built by potato farmers to pin their um, workhorses. All right, well, at least I know. And there's an old fence way out there. So here's a shot of Kendrick Park, and we are right here. This is where we started at, over here. And we're gonna just go all the way around. It's not that far, it's only a mile and a half walk. So, there's more remnants of the logs all along here. There's a big one right there. Yeah, and there's remains of old stumps everywhere. There's one over there, another one over there, a couple more over here. Wow, there's a big one out there. This is a pretty big one too. All right, so I was mistaken. Here is the mile and a half path right here. Yep, and the loop is only a quarter of a mile. So we're gonna go walking a little bit on the path. You ready, Moo Moo? I got her leash hooked to me. <laughs> that way I don't have to hold it. All right, go. That's a cool piece of old wood right there. Oh cool, they even have badgers here. Those are mean little suckers, I believe. Right, Moo Moo? You're a mean little sucker too. <laughs> Not really. It's definitely beautiful out here. Windy today though, and chilly. Moo was like, hurry the heck up please, thank you. All right, go ahead. <laughs> It's a cool old pine tree. Sucker is tall as heck.
All right, here's a notice for the ancient ruins. It says, enjoy but do not destroy your American heritage. Do not dig, remove, injure, or destroy any historic or prehistoric objects. $20,000 or imprisonment. Wow. So here's some more cool information that people camped here, possibly sheep herders, hunters, summer vacationers, and most likely lumber camp. That's pretty cool. I guess this is supposed to be the remnants they left behind. Here's some information about the young ponderosa pines. And they are called blackjacks. So you can read this description if you want to. So there seems to be some kind of motor path here that cuts across the trail and leads on that way as well. Here's our path right here. We're gonna continue on just for a little bit more. Oh wow, it's kind of hard to see a little bit because the hill goes up, but there's a whole bunch of these structures that I saw earlier. They go all the way up the hillside and down this way. Pine tree down. Here's another shot from the other side. There are the structures. And here's a f whole field of them. Wow. I forget what these trees are, but I think the bark is so beautiful. If anybody knows what these trees are, let me know in the comments below. Here's a closer shot. Yeah, I always thought these trees were beautiful. What's wrong, Mimu? Oh, can you get over it? Go, go. No, no. You gotta go over it. Cause you're on your leash. Come on. Up, up, up. Good girl. Good girl. All right, so. I think it's about time to turn around cause there's a lot of trees in the thing. Oh, good girl. Uh-oh. All right, here's another plaque. Elk chew and rub their antlers on aspen bark. Oh, is that an aspen tree? Hmm. Well, here's a down tree. There's a bunch of marks on it. I'm not sure if that's from the elk or not, or if that's just natural. Yeah, it looks kind of natural. This definitely is beautiful here. Ah, for shame, my favorite tree's been cut down. It says Aspen provide excellent habitat for creative nesting birds. That's pretty cool and other wildlife. Well, we've been about a mile and we need to get into Flagstaff. I'm giving you a quick round of view. <laughs> it's really beautiful here. So, yep, we're going to head back to Panda. Right, Moo Moo? She said no. We're going to continue on. No. Oh, I see one more plaque up there. I'll look at that one and then we'll turn around. They have all this fence along here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's just the metal posting and the barbed wire. Yay, there is the Rocky Mountain Elk. Awesome. Here's some information if you want to read it. So the path splits two ways. Goes that way. I think that's the way we came. We came from over here, so I'm not sure if that leads back. But it is time to turn around. That's a pretty cool path right there. Look at that. Just leaves up and over. Go ahead, move up. Go, go. Good girl. <laughs> Let me take your picture, stay. All right, hold on. Well, I've decided to see where this trail leads. Mumu, leave the birds alone. Crazy dog. Cool, prog horn. Here's some more information. Fencing sometimes prevents wildlife from escaping. Oh. Cool, a northern flicker. This is a woodpecker. Here's some more information. Wow, that is a cool old fence. Oh cool, that was a loop around. 
And we're back on the main trail again. So, hey, Moo Moo. <laughs> Let's see. See, here's the Kendrick Park plaque. There goes the old wash bucket. <laughs> Bye, beautiful Kendrick Park. Oh, I missed a plaque. Here is Stellar J. Wildlife lives here. Yes, it does. Yay, we made it back to Panda. And there is a better shot of Humphreys Peak right there. All snow covered with the fluffy white clouds. Just beautiful. All right, go ahead, Moo. Good girl. Home sweet home. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. Oh, there's another path. So this one is called the Walker Lake Trailhead and Watchable Wildlife Trail. That's where the other trail was over there. Moon was like, okay, I'm ready. But there's the trailhead. And I'm not sure. There's no information on how far it is. So maybe we'll check it out some other day. Come on, Moo Moo. Oh, there you are. All right, well, we're about 20 miles away from Flagstaff, so I'm going to find some boondocking there. I think I'm just going to go back to um, right near that Walmart because I've got to get grab some stuff from Walmart. All right, everybody, so, before we well. get going, Moo Moo, and like... You're you're a camera hog. You're like taking the whole camera up. <laughs> She's like, it's my camera, not yours, mine. Alright, well, anyways, we want to thank our newest Patreons. So thank you, Susan Geddes, Carrie Sheriffs, Howard Dack, Raymond H. Gill, Joy Milhone, Patricia Dunaway, Joyce Smith, Heather Munro. Sherry Moyer, Telly Pack, and also Chuck Kowser. Thanks y'all for pledging. We do appreciate it. And everybody, we love y'all and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now and onward bound. Mwah. Thank you. you want to get up there on the dash? Get on the dash. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> Who is that? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's the moon moon. The moon moon.